resolution. Okay. Friends, like I said, when God is the center of our devotional life, God never gets bored. That is the truth. Let me tell you one secret. You think God is boring? Chop. Yeah, chop. Okay, beautiful. Do you think God is boring? Okay. Maybe you are sad to say. What word is this? Eden. Eden. What's the meaning of Eden? We only know it as a garden, right? Friends, I want you to know this word is not English. It's Hebrew. The meaning in English is pleasure. If God is a boring person, he will not create pleasure for his people. So God at any point in our life is not boring. It is because we have not prioritized him. When I wake up in the morning, honestly speaking, I want to check the message from my girlfriend before I go to prayer. And my girlfriend becomes interested than God. I want to read my assignments and by the time I realize what? It's time for me to go to school. So the Holy Spirit is not fed in the morning. How can I feed them? Prayer and God's word. When I am able to do this, they always bring excitement in my heart. And when I have a happy heart, I have a happy life. This, if I'm able to do, God will not be boring in any way. God first, God always, happy life all the time. Yes, it's true. The enemy will bring attacks, problems in our way. But we learn about Job. Job never gave up no matter what happened to him. That is great devotion life. And because of time, I did not mention. You know what? The thief on the cross. This is what I learned last Sabbath. The thief on the cross. When everyone was mocking Jesus. When everyone was saying, who is this man? He, because of devotion and respect for God, he was still praying to God that when you go into your kingdom, remember me. When everyone was scared to stand for Jesus, when everyone was scared to call on God, the three Hebrew boys was standing for him. That was when they were devoted. God was not boring for them. Daniel, when they were told not to pray to any other, but only to the God of heaven, still Daniel was praying to God. That was having a great and a positive relationship and a devotional life with God. Queer. Any other question? Later. Later, because the time is up. We can't stay here for long. Friends, when we commit ourselves to God, I promise you, God will cause miracles to happen our way and we'll always open our mouth. Wow! God is excited more than the 3D movies. We don't have time to go on and on and on. Friends, I am here because of God and God alone. If it is about the invitation of BYC, I'll be somewhere else. I like who God is. He's amazing. Thank you very much. See you next time. Let's be on our feet and we'll call Seth Pasamba to pray for us. Let's pray again for the first time. Father and Aaron, we thank you Lord for the truth that you have given to your church, us, through the Bible, the examples of Daniel, of the people in the Bible, our heroes. We thank you for uh, the opportunity to commune with me, to talk with you, uh, share time with you to see nature, to read the Bible and pray to you, Lord. Please 
uh, give us hunger, Lord, for your presence, for your word, for understanding and communion with you, Lord. Help us to be like Daniel, pray three times a day, like, uh, like uh, all the Bible characters, Lord. Help us to remember all these things, remember the Bible stories so that when things happen to us, we remember lessons from them. Please forgive us from all our sins. And this will give the power of Holy Spirit on all these young people. Yes, I pray. Amen. Just uh, please uh, always check your schedule. So, we're going to do